Now this is the fly I'm going to be tying. I'm tying size 12s, size 14s. It's called the Hutchie Spaniel. It's a fly more renowned for up north in the Shetlands and Orkneys. Uh, though it's a very good all round fly, very good at the, for duck fly. But I'm tying, as I say, I'm tying size 14s. This is a basically a Camasan B175 size 14. Thread I'm going to be using is black. I'm going to wax through the thread. Start at the eye and work my way down. Now I'm removing the base piece and the way down we tie in some. This is a small silver tinsel. It's going to be for the tag of the fly, so pays for you to tie it in the way down. It saves a bit of bulk. So it's going to carry on down, just, just come around the bend slightly, come up maybe to two and a half mil or so. Now to protect the tinsel, I'm just going to be a wee touch of super glue on there, so when I bind it over it will stick. So then we're doing a one turn in front of the other, nice straight turns. This point here, catch on. I'm trim this the length of the body, which is there. Now what I'm going to do here is just tidy up slightly. Just watch this bit of tinsel, it will roll round with the thread so just let it go, it should be okay. It's a peacock hair old body so now on the way down I'm going to tie in some small silver wire. This is number 27 if you're buying it from Vineyards. Uh, so just going to catch it on my side and then wind the thread down keeping it underneath to get to the tag. You tie in the tail, which is in this case I'm using dyed golden pheasant tippet. The natural colour is this one. I'm just using the dyed version, so this is a nice fluorescent orange where we touch a hot orange mix through the dye. So when you hold the tips, get a good half dozen fibres, hold the, the tail in this case, and then take away the main feather. Now the length you're looking the length of the shank, just tie that on the top. Now I'm going to come up maybe four or five turns. So that's the start of the body. And then I'm going to tie in some dyed black peacock curl. You can use natural if you want, but I'm using dyed black. So we tie them in by the tip. Two strands here. Just line them up. Trim your waist piece to the right length. Now there's two hackles on this, so you've got to give yourself enough room. I'll just catch this in and then carry one up, tying in the waist ends, both the tail and the body with the hair. Then I'm going to wind the peacock head up towards myself. Just wind it up. Stop about a mil and a half from the eye at least. So to tie it off, go across the peacock herald and tie it one single turn and a single turn onto the hook. The same again and again and that will lock it in. Trim that away. Now we do a turn with the, the wire at the back. Rub it up about, say, 45 times. That should really tie it in well. Just drawing back the herald. But having a wee bit of the black thread at the back gives it helps to taper the the fly at the back, or tape of the body. So we'll come straight up, catch this in, just make sure it's tied in. It's important that you tie in the rib because it's holding everything together. So bend and break that off. Now for the black hackle I'm just using the dyed black. This is just a, an Indian neck, hen neck. Just wee cheap necks. Uh, do a great job for these type of flies, you don't need the best feathers in the world to tie. Now I'm just going to tie it in by the tip. So, basically what we do then, a couple of turns to tie it in. The good side of the feather facing yourself, a couple of turns back up. Now, it's 
Right, slide your fingers back. There's the tip of the hackle. We can take them away. Now I'm going to use the hackle pliers here so you can see what I'm doing. Just do a turn. Or two, depending on how good the feather is. In this case I'm doing a couple of turns. Cross your thread. Two or three turns to hold. And remove the waist. There you go. And if I was going forward, just draw them back and then with a turn of thread, this will walk them back out of the way. Then you get a this is a same with Chinese hen in white. You catch it in by the tip, and you're looking at the fibre length, much the same, or even just a slightly longer than the, the black, but much the same, it's about right. Let me see, it's about right there. So, again, with the front of the hackle facing myself, go a couple of turns, fold back the tip of the hackle. Slide your fingers back, so there's a tip, bounces out, so then we can break it off. Now I'm only going to do a turn or so with the white, not too much. Don't want really to overpower the fly with the white. A wee quick check, it's about a turn and a half there. Come in, two or three turns, we can fold it back. Tidy the head area up. Keep the thread tight, I can break this off. And then I'm straight in about finish. There you go. Trim away a thread. And there, that's the, the hatches panel. Nice, a good pattern. Tied to see all sizes. Don't be shy with it. Um, it will basically mean it will fish for if you tie it in bigger sizes, even. For sea trout, if you want, it'll still catch. Give me a bit of varnish into the head. And there we are, that's your precious pen.